So Barclays started exploring quantum computing back in summer of 2017. We were inspired originally by the idea that you could perform processing much more efficiently than with existing classical computers. Now this is fundamental, it's a game changer. We looked at value at risk calculations. We looked at modeling portfolio volatility. As we went through our months of experiments, we achieved quite a few learnings. And these informed us into the current state of play of quantum hardware and the nature and complexity of the quantum algorithms that could be used to solve these problems. We've also been looking at some of the threats of quantum computing. At the heart of this threat is the idea that cryptography is currently secured via a process of making factorization difficult for bad actors. Quantum computers offer a potential way to solve that problem of factorization efficiently. So the threat is for a bad actor to be able to crack current cryptography. And clearly, this is important to finance. Currently, quantum computers aren't powerful enough. They don't have enough qubits, and they're not able to remain coherent for a sufficiently long enough time to be able to complete this process. In years to come, they may be. 10, maybe 15 years from now, we don't know. But we need to be prepared. There are quantum-resistant algorithms that can be deployed in cryptography at the moment. The challenge is when does an upgrade to existing cryptography become sufficiently material and critical to motivate such an industry migration. So one challenge is, if you have a problem, how do you know which quantum algorithm you should use for it? Do you need to invent that new algorithm? Well, actually, what you can do is you can look at the NIST database of known quantum algorithms. You can check, does your problem already have a known solution? If so, you can look in that catalogue and select the solution. You don't need to invent a new one. The challenge, of course, is that existing quantum processors may not have enough qubits or remain coherent for a long enough time for that algorithm to run on a material volume of data. You may need to wait a few years before quantum computers are able to run the algorithm that you need.